Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tap That. Today on Brews and Reviews, we're going to be doing Desperate Times Hazy Galaxy Hazy IPA. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> and for the review, we're going to be doing the Bob's Burgers Burger Book, and the burger we chose was Poutine on the Ritz. Are you excited? I'm pretty excited. Let's see what's on tap. Alcohol. Hi everybody, like Alex said, we're going to be doing this uh, Hazy Galaxy India Pale Ale. It's a hazy. Um, and it's just a hop, skip, and a jump right down the road from us. Yeah, Very Carlisle close. PA, mm -hmm. which like Ember said, is uh, right over the river, you know, as people say. It's pretty close. I'm excited. Also, like we said, we're going to be doing this Bob's Burgers. Movie's coming out real soon. I'm super excited for it. Me too. So uh, me and Ember are both big Bob's Burgers fans. I took off work for it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And I know Batman just came out. I didn't take out, and I love Batman, but man, yeah. I took off for that movie. <laughs> this, is, this is a show, um, I, I know it's kind of hippie, to, or not hippie, like hipsterish to watch it, but it really is a funny show. If you guys have not seen the Bob's Burger show, it's fun. Um, Amber's owned this book for a while. You've cooked, I what, have. four or five of them? I've done a few out of there, yes. This, this, is, this, this will gonna, be a new one. I have not yeah. tried this one. This so. will be my first one I've ever done out of the book, um, but I have been excited for it. I even thought about getting it, but... We are cooking the Poutine on the Ritz Burger from Season 2, Episode 9, Beef Squatch. <laughs> so that, that's very specific in here. Here's the recipe. We're going to swing over to the Tap That Kitchen. Uh, you guys know we're terrible cooks, so excuse this, but let's swing over to the kitchen. <laughs> let's make a mess. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back from the kitchen here. Um, we did have to have a few beers in the kitchen, so, you know, <laughs> that's just how we are. So we've still not had this Galaxy Hap. You're, I'm sorry. Hap. Hazy Galaxy. <laughs> I wanted to call it Galaxy Hop. Is there another beer we have had called Galaxy Hop? I Maybe. Like there, is. there was Starship, but anyway, go ahead. Anyways, um, so we're, we're excited to drink this. This is what our burger looks like. I'm super excited. It looks Ooh, delicious yes. here. Mm, I got a little taste there. But first thing first, this is a beer show, Ember. Let's uh, ASMR. Three, two, one. A little spillsy. Well, that's okay. See, people yelled at us to get glasses, which is fine. I got the glasses, but like, they're like, that's how beer is meant to be drank. Then why do they make these cans? They're these way can, too big way, for a glass. You can't fit this in a glass. Like, you, like this is not a normal Maybe size glass. Maybe so you can get the best of both worlds. You get a little bit after. I do love drinking it. You poured way better than mine. But uh, we got here. All right, you ready? Tap that. Now I want to disclose. I've not ever had a Desperate Times beer. I have had a couple of them. I've not. And I usually don't like them to be. And I'm sorry, Desperate Times. The only one I think I've had there that I've liked is the Kinky Thompson, um, which is fine. Um, but this is, this is pretty good. It's got like a, a yeah, like a sharp taste. Like a oh, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it's distinguishing enough. I know we're not quite there yet. Oh, actually, fuck it. Let's do taste. What is it? What do you taste? I don't taste anything. It's not. The, it's just. It just. I expected to not taste anything. Yeah. I, and it, and it is. It just has like a. It's just got a sharp taste. It's very. Uh, let me see. Hold on. It's very hazy tasting, mm -hmm. which I'm not. That's not a bad thing. That's almost all the flavor I get. Yeah, right I don't now. get anything else from yeah, it. Yeah, I'm it's not just getting that, like, It's a sharp, hazy taste. Yeah. I do want to read. I should probably pre-read these things, but I don't. That's label, Ember. You can't read it yet. Oh, um, I just wanted to see what was in it. I don't think it says. It's fine. 
All right. No, I, I think I'm kind of like good. going into a blind. I, I, because then I'm not, my expectations aren't there. The hazy taste is sharp. It's very, it's a very, uh, I know you guys hate when I use this word, but it's a very dirty taste that it's very, it tastes very unfiltered, very, uh, not a bad taste. I'm not, dirty is a bad word because it's invitation of bad, but I, it tastes unfiltered. It does. It, it tastes like, unfiltered. Mm hmm. All right, I am starving though. Mm -hmm. We have to get into this. Do we want to just go straight for the burger, or are we going for the fries first? Well, We've had poutine. Okay, that's fine. Let's do. Let's. I want this burger right let's now. Let's go. Let's go. All, All right. All right. Are we tapping it? I don't know if we want to make your book that messy. <laughs> are you ready? All right. Do you know what comes out on this the most for me? The mm. Ritz. Mm hmm they're crunchy. Like, I taste the, no, I taste, like, the sweetness of the Ritz. Mm. That's why that gratuitous amount of Ritz. Mm hmm But it's a little crunchy, too. Mm hmm Ah, beer and burger. That's a taste. No, and, and you're right. Like, we talked before this. And she's like, get a beer that goes with burger. I feel like most beers go with burgers. Yeah, come on, beer and burger. It's like beer yeah. and pizza, you know? Like, you can't go wrong with that. No, you really can't. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a good burger. Now, I'm going to try this poutine. I know what poutine tastes like. This isn't going to be as good as... We like, season the fries. Hmm? It's fine. It's homemade poutine. The burger's where it shines. Mm -hmm. So... I would recommend for the recipe, pre-melting the cheese curds. Yeah. A hair. Yeah. That's it. It's hard to film and cook at the same time because you're not all doing it at the same time because I need to make sure I'm in certain stations. But another one of my suggestions and... This is only my first burger. Amber said this has changed. I didn't like that in this recipe, they didn't tell you how to cook the burger. Now, mm -hmm. I understand how to cook burger, how mm -hmm. to make burger. But some it, recipes, it does. It does. This one did not. It just said make four patties. But, like, then I think at the beginning of the book, they should just have, like, the Bob Burgers, like, recipe of a burger. You they know might. I, mean? oh. I didn't look. I never looked. It has to be the first recipe in here. Oh, I think it what? does say it. How to cook, cook a, a basic, basic burger, burger best. best. It does. We didn't look. Yeah. I never looked. I'm going to be honest. All right. Well, then I am uh, I take it all back. They do tell you how to cook a burger, which you we know did what? not listen to. Next episode, we'll do. <laughs> we'll, we'll listen to how to cook a Bob's best burger there. Because Bob looks like he can cook a damn good burger. I, n I never looked. Right, well, they, they tell us. We'll have to follow that next time. So. This is what happens when you drink and cook. Yeah, you never read anything. You guys have been with us for a while now. You've seen us cook the ramen and stuff. Like, I wasn't the, part of the ramen. I know. You, we it's got fine. we got more ramen. We got more ramen episodes coming. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it, it's fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the burger or the fries on top. Of the I burger. was just thinking that. Yeah. Dude. What if we put the fries in the burger? Yeah, yeah. More than just it being good. I know we said that a few times. The Ritz crackers really come through and give it a sweetness that um, yes that most burgers don't have. Mm-hmm. The poutine and the gravy are kind of something I've had on a burger. It's still kind of this peppery, cheesy flavor. Mm -hmm. But I think the Ritz crackers really stands it apart as being this unique thing. Yeah. Um, it, it gives it a sweetness that it usually doesn't have. And a crunch. And a Which crunch. You can get from a lot of things. That crunch from that, the it's like powdery, crunchy. Yeah, it, it's good. Yeah. It's like uh, it's like putting chips on your sandwich. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's, there's exactly like a it. satisfyingness to it. So that, that was really good. Um... I would say the best part is this is just a fun book. Oh, like, yeah. This is fun to make if you are a fan of Boz Burgers. Like, it's just fun. And maybe go back and watch the episode now. And like, if you're not a fan... You should be. You probably just should be. <laughs> so. I actually don't like the episode this is from, though. It's one of my least favorite Actually, episodes. I hate that episode. I don't hate it, but I do... Di it's not my favorite. Like, it's fine. I hate the Beef Squatch episode. I hate... I like when they go on the game show at the end of the episode, but all the cooking segment, I'm not into. Like, I don't want it. I hate... I hate Gene. So, but... Uh, we're getting way sidetracked, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I think it was fun. I think it was a good entertainment. I, I liked making it. The burger's good. We'll mm -hmm. listen to the we'll listen to the recipe next time. You'll tune in next time to see us actually listen to the recipe. And they had some fun ones in here. Um, how much was this? Do you remember? Oh, it was maybe like twenty bucks. 20 Not bucks. even. Um, little maybe much more than I want to spend. It's probably a little cheaper now. Um, that it's been out for a while. Um, but I don't know. I, think I would say if you're a Bob's Burgers fan, totally worth it. Twenty bucks is worth it. I am. I love Bob's Burgers probably more than you. Mm. I. 
For sure, more than me. I love Bob's Burgers, and I loved this book. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's it feels like it feels like a good quality book. They didn't send you like a paperback. No, and one I like that they put, and I know it's like silly, but I like that they put what episode the burger was from. I like that they put little jokes in it. Yeah, and they put little jokes in at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's from the writers of Bob's Burgers, too. Yeah, oh, of course. So they actually, like, had a part of it. Yes. It's a great marketing idea for the show. It makes perfect sense for Mm -hmm. the show. And there's, like, little illustrations in the book that aren't even from the show. Yeah. So you know they took their time to make the book. Yeah. Let's maybe review the book someday. We got label and content left. Okay, let's go to label. Let's go to label. Okay. This label actually caught my eye. I want to say, for being black and white, it's it's a good label. It's kind of catchy. I mean, you guys have to realize this isn't a, like, crazy established beer company or anything. They're a little local brewery, like, like a hop, skip, and a jump from us, you know? They're, there's nothing like, yeah. they're not selling nationwide. And I think for them to even put this much effort into their label is good. I do think they probably should have maybe put a little color in there, but... Color printing is expensive. It is. <laughs> Um, I do think maybe, like, the stars and, like, things like that should have maybe been colored. But it, it would catch my eye just walking down. It did catch my eye. I didn't yeah. intend to get this today, but I flip-flopped and I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to get that. So it did catch my eye like that. I actually like this. I don't know if it's their label because it's Desperate Times. There's, like, a clock here, guys, that has a D and a T on it. And then it says, time to toss back a couple. Oh, no, it, it is. I'm pretty sure. I've seen their advertisements. Yeah, that's, like, I would buy a shirt with that label on it. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that DT little symbol yeah. is pretty cool. Um, Maybe we need to go to the brewery. Well, I'm with her. Uh, content, we got 6.4, which is a little mm. less than I expect. Like, for the taste, too. How sharp yeah. that taste how is. How sharp that is, yeah. Um, a little less. I would think this was, like, if you would give me this and I would guess, I would say it's probably a 6.9 to a 7. Mm-hmm. So 6.4 is a little low, especially because it is such a beery flavor. Yeah. Like, usually I'll be more forgiving when it's, like, real grapefruity or real, like, orangey. And I'm like, okay, they had to put a lot of fruit into this. You know what? Maybe those fruity ones that are there to trick, they're there to trick you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are easier to go down. This is definitely, I mean, it is exactly what it says it is. It is a hazy idea. And it is very hazy. It's even, I mean, if you look at it. It's hazy. It's hazy, and it, it tastes hazy. Yeah, I, I, and you know, I haven't decided if I like or hate seeing the little pigments of things. Oh, uh, I don't like it, but I have gotten used to it. I haven't decided. I'm undecided for that. I, I don't know. Okay, so what I expected was a flavorless beer. I got a very sharp taste. It's a very hazy taste. The label was eh. It was okay. It caught it caught my eye, but I wish there was a little bit more color. And the content, I really wish it would have been a little bit higher of an alcohol. Content. By, like, content, yeah. Yeah. Just, especially for that sharp taste. Um, I'm probably going to give it, like, a 6.4. Oh, right on the alcohol content. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why that number's in my head. Um... It's, yeah, I'm with you. I, I mean, I, I'm piggyback on all, all of her things. I don't know if I could drink another one. It's, yeah. It sits a little heavy. Like, maybe it's the burger, so I don't want to hate on it too much for that. But, like, I feel heavy in here No, right it's now. sharp. It's very sharp, and it's sharp on your throat and everything, which mm-hmm. is fine. I'm not hating on it. Um, I think it's a better-than-average hazy I think it does what it wants to do, and if this is what you are after, then I, this is good. I disagree. Oh. I don't I, think it's a better than average hazy. Well, you gave it a 6.4, average uh, is 5. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess. I think it set out to what it would do. Yeah, I guess. I think if you're looking for frills, fruity flavors, tropical flavor, you're not uh, finding it here. a piney flavor, whatever, you're not finding that here. This is what it is. I would actually be a little lower than you. Um, I would think it'd be like a 6.1. I think it's better than average, even a, a whole grade better than average. I wouldn't hate this beer if I got it. I don't know if I would necessarily go back, though. I wouldn't go back for a second. I wouldn't get another one. Yeah. Like, I would be more curious to try another one before I was like, oh my god, I need it. I need that again. Again, yeah. Same. Yeah. 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 Same. So, all in all, I think pretty good beer. I mean, don't hate on that. I mean, we've gotten things way lower than that. A 6... I think that's going to average out to about a 6.2. That's a fine score, you know. So, all in all, Desperate Times, 
this is the second beer that I would drink again. I wouldn't get it again, but if it was on tap somewhere, like not at Desperate Times, our local bar sells King King Thomas Thompson. Um, yeah, from Desperate yeah. Times, yeah. yeah. Um, so I get it there a lot because I like to support local. Um, yes. So if this was on tap next time I go there, I'll definitely get it. That's fine for me. This is a fine beer to drink. But other than that, it's fine. It's fine. It's just fine. <laughs> Bob's Burgers, though, I am excited for that. Um, we'll do another one here. I don't know. It, it takes us months to do everything, guys, here. But <laughs> we'll, we'll do another one if you guys like this episode. Um, other than that, guys, as always, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you can find the tap that name. We've been thinking about when we hit the 100 mark to putting people or uh, making hats or making shirts. Yeah, we're, we're going to get you some, some yeah. merch. Yeah, well, I think the when we hit the 100 mark, we're going to shuffle all your guys' name and we'll send two lucky people a shirt or a hat. You know, we'll, we'll text them and say what their size is. So look out for that. I hope we get to 100 real soon. Spread it to your friends and everything, guys. But as always, guys, please, please, please. Don't forget to tap that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Hello.